Top edge. Top edge. How far will this go? Oh, it's not going to go all the way, is it? It does! My giddy aunt. Well, he said he's powerful, but that's just ridiculous. It's a big bat he's got. And it was nothing more than a top edge. And it's carried all the way for six. Unbelievable. They go length, and they get picked into the stand. Halfway up the stand. Oh, this guy can play. He really can. This is a delivery that's just lost its line of touch. Drifted into his pads, and he's just flicked it. Flicked it away for six. 15 rows back. Thank you very much. Bit of a gimme that, though, isn't it? To players in this form. Short again, and that's six ball. That was flat and hard. They're going to get it. They've got to get it right to this fella here, and they're not getting it right at all. Oh, this wicket hasn't got quite as much pace as maybe what the one in Wellington did the other night. Set up nicely, good position. And leg side again, and that'll be four more. Not a good start from Doug Bracewell. Just got his line wrong. It's like he's starting for the perfect outswinger that's going to hoop a lot. It's not. It's just continuing on down the leg side. Look at that. Into the pads of the right hander. Very strong there. Through the gap for four. Didn't tie, but brilliantly not totally controlled, but it was good enough. Well, this will be an interesting battle because Southie had Levy's number in Wellington and there's a bit of aggression between the two. I think Levy will see this tonight as an opportunity to get back on top of Southie. He goes straight. He goes really well. And he hits... Oh, he's... He's hit someone down there too. He's hit a six and collected the floor manager at the same time. 51 for two. Oh, he's powerful. He really is. That's a lovely way to finish the over. Look at that, straight down the ground. Oh, wee. Oh, that's flat. And that might be six. Gee whiz, it's only, what, 12 feet in the air. Oh, if that, and it's landed maybe two or three yards over the rope. Sort of looked up from the screen. As he hit it, I'm sure I saw it land a couple of yards over the rope. But it never it was so flat, yeah. Five sixes. Get rid of this fellow, and uh, they won't be getting him this ball. Massive, massive man. Too easy. It's just too easy. First ball from Neil Hira. Head down, great follow through. Well, between him and Martin Gutfeld, we see some of the most pure hitting. A bit of James Franklin tonight, but here's Ronil Hera under a new... Now, yeah, has he got the timing this time? I think he's got enough. Shortest boundary. Number seven. Probably the least impressive, if I can be insulting. Well, New Zealand team hit nine sixes between them. Levy's only too short of that at the minute, and that was a miss hit. He did not that, get that at all. Just props onto that front foot and swings through it beautifully. That's a strike zone. Now then, where's this going? That's an amazing shot. Well, I just thought he'd hit that straight down the middle of his throat. He doesn't even have to hit the ball very high at all. Oh, this is baseball. That is a baseball swing. Perfect. Oh, that's off someone's head. That skimmed off someone's swede. What's happened there? Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? I think I know. Oh, that's through as well. Whistles across the outfield. He stunned this crowd. He stunned New Zealand. Oh, they should be enjoying it, though. Won't enjoy the fact that New Zealand are not looking like winning the game here as the light just fell down on top of me in the studio here. Move away from that. Uh, but they should be enjoying. That's oh, he goes it. long. Has he got enough of it? He has. You betcha. The powerful Levy hits another one. 
Night six for Levy. Too much power into the over. South Africa, 114 for two. Franklin thought he had a chance just for a second. But he's just too powerful. These boundaries are too small for him, Barry. Waste time. Oh, he goes down the ground. He goes flat and hard into the sight screen. Six number 10 for Levy. He's hitting it out the park. This is destructive. Well, that equals Chris Gale, who's probably known as the best T20 player in the world at the moment. But uh, this guy's going to run him pretty close. Not really off the middle again, but carried quite comfortably. Gee, where's this is power head power? Oh, he goes big side this time. Same result, and that is the record for Richard Levy. Most sixes hit in a T20 international. Stands at 11. Awesome stuff. And he's, he's, he's still got eight and a half overs to go. This is going to be uh, something special, I can tell you. Wow, this is power hitting. Oh, he's moved along to 90. 90 or 40 deliveries. Oh, it's gone up. It's gone high. It's gone long. Don't worry about that. Six number 12 for Levy. He's on fire. He moves to 96. 21 from the brace will over. South Africa, 135 for two. Here's 99. And there it is. First T20 for Richard Levy. Brings it up in style 12 sixes it's been a powerhouse display from the south african right hander a master class in power awesome stuff brilliant absolutely brilliant richard levy take a bow he has made a mockery of this game and it's not easy to do that he has been so powerful nice little single and a celebration and rightly so great knock Powerful knock. Oh, wow. oh, he picks the gap there. Beats mid-wicket. No man back. That will be four. So the placement was good from Levy. And that's only his fourth boundary of the night to go with 12 sixes. Jeez, they're going to wake up later, the New Zealanders, and think they've had a nightmare. <laughs> Just smashed them to all parts, mainly on the leg side, but... Uh, Wow, such power. New Zealand is to just practice the offside. Wow, oh, that's big. That's gone many a row back. That's gone miles. That is massive from Levy. Number 13. They keep ringing them in. This man is just too powerful for this ground. Oh, that's going to go for four, I think. Squeezes it down to fine leg, it does. Well, when it's going your way, it's going your way. But you've got to make your own luck in this game, and he certainly has done that. Can't begrudge him the French cut every now and then. It's well bowled. A little unlucky there, Southie, really, because uh, under... Well, into a bloke who's just smashing it round. You've got to feel under pressure. Just a single. 